Good day folks. Welcome back to another Chinwag. So I've just been sat here for a little while admiring the view that's behind us. I've reversed so that you guys can have the nice view for this video otherwise you're just facing a bunch of houses basically. So that's better isn't it? Hey. Anyways I'm just sat here and I just get random thoughts come into my head sometimes and I have to do a video I guess right now at the moment otherwise I'll forget about it and I won't be in the moment you know about talking about it basically but um just been sat here and I don't know why this popped into my head but do any of you guys remember the famous five books uh, when you were a child do you remember them they were like adventure books it was a, about the uh seven friends the secret seven there was there, there was there was the famous five and the secret seven I remember the famous five more to be honest with you so there was like five friends and they'd go out on adventures together and they'd get up to loads of crazy adventures you know and i don't know looking for treasure and looking for this and doing this and that and these were children's books you know and i used to love them as a child and one book in particular that i remember of the famous five it came with like a little map of the adventure that they were going on so you'd unfold the map and it would have like you know the route that they were going and kind of what they did at certain points and what they found and it had little pieces as well that you had like little treasure things and so as you were reading the book you would follow the map of where they were so you could see them see where they were on the map do you know what I mean if that makes sense and I always remember that book right always um, I just found it so like exciting thinking wow I'm like following them on the map you know I'm not just reading the book about their adventure I'm actually seeing where they're going and what they found and and I honestly believe now, thinking back to it, I think that is a one of the stems of, um, or one of the seeds planted in my brain uh, for travel, you know? I think that's why I enjoy travel a lot. So ever since a child, I've really found that fascinating, about going to places and finding things and um, following people on the map and and all of that, you know? I don't know why that popped into my head here. I was just sat here and uh, started thinking about them books for some reason. But, um, and then in 2010, was it? Yeah, 2010, I was in New Zealand and I was doing some voluntary work in a dairy farm there. And uh, I picked the, the farmer there, he had quite a few books. And one book I found was about a guy who canoed right down the, um, the Congo River, just in a canoe, a white man. And it, you know, it was back in like the 70s or 80s, I think he, was, he did this. But you, basically, you know, he, he talked about his whole adventure from starting it, just going through all of these tiny little villages and, um, you know, all the, all the dangerous moments that he had where he felt, thought he was going to get killed because he was a white man in certain parts of the country. And, you know, he just float down his canoe very quietly in the middle of the night through all these little villages so he wouldn't get caught and, and all this. I just found it fascinating. So anyway, when I was about a quarter of the way through the book, I thought about this famous five book that I was just talking about then, the one with the map and everything. And when I was reading this book about the guy going down the Congo, he was naming certain towns that, you know, he said, I, I, I pulled into so-and-so, he'd, he'd, he'd mentioned the name of the town. I thought, wow, I wonder if I could, with the power of Google and uh, Google Earth, could, would I be able to follow this guy's adventure on Google Maps or Google Earth as I'm reading the book? And I did, I did exactly that. I uh, I found out what one of the towns that he said he was in so I went onto Google Earth and I zoomed in and I could see the town and by his descriptions in the book you know saying that he went past certain things and I was actually following him on uh, on Google Maps or Google Earth I think it was <laughs> it was amazing do you know what I mean because he was he would like I, like I was just saying he would talk about going through tiny little villages where there was just a few shacks and and then there was a big opening of something or other and then i'd find it on i could find it on google on google earth you know and i was fascinated man i was I, it was like i was like 10 years of age or nine years of age again like however old i was when i was reading the the famous five books you know so that was quite mad it was like following someone's adventure on google earth as i'm reading the book like <laughs> And all this just popped into my head and I'm thinking, you know, I've always been fascinated by following people's adventures and um, 
reading books about people that just really go out there and have proper good adventures, you know. But have you heard of the Famous Five? If you're from the UK, I'm guessing you have. I don't know if any other countries would have heard of them. The Famous Five and the Secret Seven, I think they were similar. I don't know why I kind of edged towards the Famous Five, no idea. Uh, maybe because they did come with things like maps and stuff, I don't know. But yeah, I was just thinking about that, folks, just thinking about that. And so yeah, ever since I've been a little nipper, I've been fascinated by maps and adventures and things like that. There's no wonder I haven't settled down, folks, bloody hell. There's no wonder. It's been ingrained in me since a little baby, basically. And I don't know why that is. That's, I don't know why that is. As they say in Mexico, no se, no se. Anyways, folks, what about you? Do you remember any of your old books from when you were back as a little child and have they influenced you in any way? Were any of you guys into the Famous Five? Have you had a similar experience to what I've had? Let me know in the comments section below. Be nice to hear from you. All right, folks, well, I'm gonna shoot on off now. I've been sat here a little while. There you go. Pretty gray today, pretty gray. I'm off down to Pembrokeshire in a few days. Gonna have a nice bit of voluntary work down there with two people I haven't met before. I'm really looking forward to it and I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to do some videos there as well. Um, provided they allow me to film and stuff like that. They could be quite interesting, so uh, watch this space. All right, folks, until the next time, stay chirpy, keep safe, peace.